Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Washington State Cougars and the Washington Huskies. Washington has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. Nice pick, sir. I gotta go with Washington in this one. They'll go to work at the 42-yard line. Number nine comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down, and it's caught. And he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. The Huskies come out in a shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. And he's hammered as he lets it go. It's tipped. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Second and ten. Ball on the 36. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop the back. Comes across the middle. Picks, picks it off. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. They'll get the ball here at the six. Ford has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He decides to run with it. Broke away from one. Irvin brings him down. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. First and 10. Ball on their own 28. Washington State lines up in a shotgun set. Ward lines up in the shotgun. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 26. Ward has four receivers lined up here. Ward set to go to the air. Throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Third down and 12. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Cougs come out showing three wide. Ward, back to pass. He takes off. They'll bring him down. How about that conversion? Let me tell you something. That defense got to be a little discouraged after that play. No question. You can see the guys are hanging their heads a little bit going back to the huddle after giving up a big play to the quarterback. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Washington State comes out with three receivers bunch. Across the middle. Incomplete pass. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Washington State in a four-wide set. Ward drops back. Across the middle. Got it to the senior. 
Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. One man backfield. Play action. Throws this one out to the left. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. They'll set up shot at the 28. First and 10. Number nine lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Gets rid of it quickly. And down he goes. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Three wideouts here. He drops back, looks, throws it to the outside, and it falls incomplete. The halfback just ran out of real estate. That's the quarterback's fault. He needs to put that pass where his guy doesn't have to be standing in the third row to make the catch. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 33. Washington in a five-wide set. Drops back to pass, steps up. He's going left. The ball is tipped. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Fourth and five. Ball on the 33-yard line. Washington lining up the punt. Punts the ball away. Number 88, fields it at the 24, makes it move. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. The Cougar come out in the shotgun. Ward drops back on first down. Down the middle. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Second and six. Ball on the 37-yard line. Washington State sets up with four receivers. Ward steps back to pass. He lets it go. Complete. A four-yard loss. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 33. Washington State lines up in a shotgun set. Ward drops back to pass. It's deflected. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. Washington State lining up the punt. He gets it away. Hope fields it at the 27. Well, before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 27-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Jackson, the intended receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Washington comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Down the middle. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. What a collision. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back.
Excellent field position to start the drive. And they have three bunched. Gets the ball. Though they fake, has it to the senior. Nothing going on that one. No game on the play. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 24. Ward comes to the line with three wide. Ward drops the throw. Looking across the middle. And it's caught. And he's tackled. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yeah, just a wasted play right there. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 21. The Cougs have five receivers on this play. Ward, back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Banks with a takedown. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down line. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. The kick is up. And he missed it to the right. They'll go to work at the 20. The Huskies line up with five receivers. They'll bring him down. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. The officials got that right. 15 yards for a face mask. Sometimes it's unintentional when you get a handful of face masks. You got to drop your hand real quickly, or they'll give you a personal foul every time. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number nine lines up in the shotgun. Looks. Wants to throw outside. Got it. He's into the open field. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Washington. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive silver. Washington is ready to kick it away. Ollie and number 88 back to return. Kicks it off. Number 88 takes it to 14. Missed tackle. He breaks the second tackle. A promising drive ended with no points the last time this offense had the ball. Oh, boy, they had to go all the way down the field, and they missed that field goal. I bet you see some fired-up kids out there now looking to make up for that. They come out of the nickel. Ward on play action. Throws it to the outside. And they push him out. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Second and one. Ball on their own 41. Washington State comes to the line with three wide. Play action, throws it deep downfield. It's tipped, 
And that one's fallen incomplete. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. Third down of the yard. Ball on the 41-yard line. And they better keep an eye on that tight end. Tackle. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. Going with the shotgun here. Ward steps back to pass. Looking. Throw short. Picked off. And he's taken down. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough to play wide receiver. If you just saw, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle anybody. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. The Husky set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. And he's shoved out of bounds. That'll be a pickup of a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 44. Number nine with three wide receivers. Little shake and bake move. And they make the stop. Washington takes a timeout. Third and five. Ball on the 40. They come out in a nickel. He decides to run with it. Brought down. Washington calls a timeout. It's first and 10, ball on the 32. Washington comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Got it ball. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. Listen up, my friend. Nowadays, linebackers need to be able to do more than just stop the run. They got to be able to fly all around the field and play the pass, too. Second and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. The Husky come out showing three wide. Drop back to pass with a quick throw. Complete. Jackson tackles him for a loss on the play. Drop back a yard. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle here. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's going right. He's got it. Got some open field. The halfback got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. This is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. And he hits the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Washington 14, Washington State nothing. Washington lines up for the kickoff. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Ollie takes it to 15. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll set up shot at the 28-yard line. The Cougs. Line up with four wide out. Nice play fake. He's looking. Comes across the middle. Banks brings him down. Washington State takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 39. The Cougs have five receivers on this play. 
Uh oh, high snap. Steps up in the pocket. He jukes. No one open, so he's going to run. At the point. Turner with a monster hit. Washington State calls a timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. And they have three bunts. Ward drops back on first down. Throws. And he's taken down. Washington State takes a timeout. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 36 yard line. This looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone. Ward drops back to pass. He throws a dart to the left. It's dropped. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Washington, 14. Washington State, nothing. Washington will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 88 takes it to 14. A little juke. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and 10, ball on 34. Washington State in a four wide set. He drops back, steps up, wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. Couldn't complete that one to his halfback. He just needed a little less air under it. So it's second and 10, ball on their own 34. Ward with four wide receivers. Ward drops back. Down the middle. Off his hands and incomplete. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Washington State sets up with four receivers. The Cougs line up with four wideouts. Ward, back to throw. Let's it fly. The ball is tipped. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. They line up to pump this one away. Number 38 gets it off. Back to return. Hope calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 31. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 31-yard line. Washington comes out in the shotgun with the throw. Someone got a hand on it. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Second, Second and 10. ten. Ball on their own 31. Washington in a five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Looks. Going deep. Lays it out there. The ball is tipped. He's got it on the run. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. The Husky come out the shotgun. He steps up. He tosses it short. Touchdown, Washington! And that was his third touchdown pass of the game. And that last one was the best of the bunch, if it asked me. Great throw, great catch. Yeah. 
And he tacks on the extra point. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. Kicks it. Ali fields it at the 18. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive, and they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Man, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody give me a helmet quickly. They'll take over at the 32-yard line. Ace backfield. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Cougars come out in a bunch formation. Steps up in the pocket. He's going right. Almost picked off. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk. But when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Washington State comes out with five receivers. Ward, back to pass, looking. He gets the pass away. The ball is tipped. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Well, let's hope it's not serious, but his arm's got to be hurting after a shot like that. Washington lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back, and here's a quick throw. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. The pass good for maybe seven yards. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 36. Number nine lines up in the shotgun. Nice play fake. Steps up. He's going right. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Not sure what the quarterback was looking at on that one. Yeah, it cost him. He just threw his third pick of the game. Fellas, you got to give credit to this defense. They're taking advantage of each and every mistake this quarterback is making. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Single set backfield. Watson gets the call. Big opening. Tries to juke. Gets past the tackler. And down he goes. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. Boy, you're right. This kid showed me he's a great-looking athlete. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. Another run. And they make the stop. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. They 
They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking for his man. And it's the senior. Didn't get anything. Washington State comes out with five receivers. Drops back to pass. Looks to the end zone. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. He's got some blockers. Fight with a takedown. And they come up with another turnover. Yeah, the defense is playing very opportunistic out there today. That was their third interception of the game. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. First and 10. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He's looking over the middle. Calhoun brings him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. Washington lines up for the shotgun set. And here's a quick throw. Incomplete. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Steps up. Down the middle. Got him on the run. And he's tackled. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Husky line up with three wide with the throw. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number one. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Drops back to pass. Once and all, going deep. And it falls incomplete. Third down and 10 coming up, and this is the sixth play of the drive. They come out with four wide out. He drops back, throws it to the outside, and they couldn't hook up on that one, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Washington lining up the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Hicks signals for a fair catch, and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 25. The Cougar come out in the ace formation. He's going right. Incomplete. You got to keep it under control. That's some nice arm strength. But it doesn't matter if it's not on target. You're absolutely right, Coach. You have to be accurate on those type of passes. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. The Cougs line up with four wideouts. Back to pass. With the throw. Into coverage, and the defense has it. That gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is full of playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number nine is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. Almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 27. 
Washington lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back and pass. He steps up. He's going right. Complete. And he's taken down. And they get a few yards on that little reception. Check it out. He ran a good route on his play. And the timing of the pass was good. And they were able to get a nice game. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 18. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. handoff he's hit and got away and he is drilled he didn't get much but he got enough for the first down well that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball down field first and ten ball on the 15 they'll work from the shotgun faked it. Throws it to the outside. Superb catch by the wide receiver for the score. Yeah. Flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. Step on. Don't start on the offense. Five the lack of concentration will push the offense back. Yep, the kid was in a hurry to block someone. You got to control that. And he hits the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive somewhere. Washington ready to kick this one off. And they'll be returning this one. Holly fields it at the three. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll start this drive at the 21. Washington State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. There he goes! Bounces off the would-be tackler. Williams with a takedown. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. One man backfield. Back to pass. Looks. Down the middle. To the middle. It's his tight end. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Four wide. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. Banks brings him down. Six-yard pickup. Gain of six on the play. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 37. Washington State calls a timeout.
Second and four. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Cougs come out in a bunch formation. Throw short. Complete. Grimsburg with a takedown. Washington State takes a timeout. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 34. The Cougs line up with three receivers bunch. Yuku. And they make the stop. And that'll give them another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. It's first and ten. Ball in the 25. The Cougar come out in the shotgun. Short to off. Oh, what an interception. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. They'll get the ball here at the 25. So the starting quarterback is done for the day. And we now have the backup in. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 13 with four wide receivers. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? Washington is one happy group of guys right now. Nothing is more gratifying than embarrassing the team you love to beat in front of millions of people. And they did it. <laughs> this is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.